So I'm going to put to test all of these auto-injected pens and I have four of them here. I've got two EpiPens. Can you tell with the labels? You've got the green one and a yellow one. The green one is normally prescribed to a child. It's got a lower dose. And then the yellow one is normally prescribed to an adult, which is a higher dose. I've got the same dosages uh, for the Jext and also for the Emiraid. Now these are all out of date auto inject pens and we're going to demonstrate them using an orange because an orange is very similar to our muscles and our skin. So here we go. Okay, so here we have the child EpiPen and we've got our orange. We're going to take the EpiPen out of the case. We're then going to just look at it and you can see it actually tells you which way the needle's going to come out of. It actually says needle end. Remove the safety cap and then we're going to hold the orange which would be our thigh. We're going to hold the EpiPen up against the orange and push until it clicks. And then when it's clicked, we're going to hold it in there for 10 seconds. So you can see we can't reuse them again. And the needle, you won't be able to see I don't think, unless you look really clearly in there. There is a needle inside there which covers a whole shaft of this and all the medication has come out from here. But you get one go at using it. Okay, let's get the adult EpiPen, the yellow one. You take it out the case, making sure that when we hold it, we've got a nice firm grip. Move the safety cap as before. We know which way the needle's gonna come out of. Hold it against the thigh, push until it clicks, and hold it in place for at least 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can release it, and you'll see the shaft will cover the needle. You can give it a little rub, as you would do on our own thighs or the person's thighs. You will then notice that you'll be able to see the needle just down that pinhole there, if you look down the shaft. But you also notice you cannot reuse these pens. These are one use and one use only. So if you mess up, you need to be able to get the second pen if the person has it with them. Okay, let's have a look at the Jex. The Jex also comes in a case. Remove it. Have a look at it. It clearly shows you which way the needle is going to come out of but you hold it like you would do the EpiPen, remove the safety cap, and then hold it against the orange or the thigh, and push until it clicks, and hold it in there for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the same as the EpiPen, you can release it, and you'll see the shaft that will cover the needle. And again, if you look down the pinhole at the end, you should be able to see the needle there. And again, you'll only be able to use it once, you can't reuse it. So you've got to make sure you do it properly. And then finally, we've got the Emiraid. Again, it's got a case, remove it from the case. Then you'll notice this pen's a bit different. It has one end and only one end. So you remove the cap, like you would do a normal writing pen. You remove it from the end. It's a bit tough, so really pull it off. Now the needle comes out of this end. Now you want to make sure you've got a firm grip, same as the other pens, because it will kick. You hold it against the thigh, or the orange in this case, and you push hard until it clicks. You've got to hold it in there for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, same with the other pens, you release it, you will see the shaft will actually cover the whole needle. And again, you'll be able to see the needle quite clearly in there. Same with the other pens, you get one go at using it. If you mess up, you need to be able to get the person's second pen. I've just demonstrated showing you on an orange. Obviously, this is going to be used on somebody else or yourself, maybe. And it's designed to go through clothing and ideally into the outer thigh, making sure you avoid any of the hems, you know, like jeans that you might have, a hem down the side, and also making sure that you avoid any pockets. Sometimes builders and trades people might have big pockets on the outside of the trousers. So it's designed to go through one layer of clothing on the outer thigh. And notice how I've used your injector pen now. I haven't swung at the leg. I've held against the leg and I've pushed until it clicks. And I have to have a firm grip. Because if you don't have a firm grip, what will happen is the auto injector pen kicks a little bit. You've probably heard quite a violent click. Well, it's really trying to force it out of my hand. So I'm holding it firmly against the orange, or in your case, it will be against a thigh of a personal or yourself. So really hold it firmly and hold it for the desired time. I held them all for 10 seconds, but you'll also be able to read on the auto-injector pens 
that the Emma Raid is actually only five seconds. The EpiPen actually tell you to hold it for, here we go, the EpiPen actually tells you to hold it only for three seconds, but the Jext, it does tell you very clearly to hold it for 10 seconds. Now I find all that confusing, so I'd much rather just hold them all for 10 seconds. Better to be safe than sorry. So there we have it. That's how to use these auto injector pens. And after you've used them, you can't reuse them. So I'm going to go and dispose of these in the yellow sharps bin, which I'm going to find at the local doctor's surgery or even the local ambulance station, which is where I'm going to go and dispose of these safely. Just to show you, you can't reuse them. All of these shafts are now covering the needle inside. You can tell they're all longer than they're what they started off with at the beginning of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any important videos that could save your life and also your families and friends lives.